Let's take a look at two common uses in while loops. One is a, a counter, maintaining a counter, and the other is maintaining a running total, and they're very similar. A um, couple of things you have to do if, with both the counter and a running total is you have to give the variables an initial value, and before the while loop, you only give the initial value once, and then inside the while loop, you add to the counter or the running total over and over and over again until the loop completes. All right, so let's start with an example of a tip calculator used by a server at a restaurant. Okay, so let's start with the tip nums. We're going to do uh, stepwise development here, so we'll do a little piece at a time. And our counter starts with an initial value of zero because we haven't had any tips yet, right? Uh, tip equals input uh, please enter the tip amount or enter to exit. Alright, so now we have a tip and we're going to construct the condition for our while loop. The, the while loop condition must be true in order for the loop to be entered in the first place and it must become false in order to exit the loop. Alright, so what do we know about tip? If some value was entered, we know that input always returns a string. So if a value was entered, then tip cannot be equal to the empty string. The flip side of this is if the user just types the enter key at the keyboard, input will return an empty string. So that's when we want to exit. That's when we want this condition to become false. Or well, that's what will make this condition false. So if you, if you just press enter at the keyboard and nothing else, input returns an empty string. Tip will therefore contain the empty string. And empty string, non equal empty string, will be false simply because they're equal. So they're not not equal. Okay, so in the loop, now we want to increment our tip number. Tip num plus equal one. Put a little comment in there for those of you that don't remember the augmented assignment operator. Same as tip num equals tip num plus one. Okay. Uh, let's come down here a little bit so that um, to raise your view towards the top of the screen there or so that you can see the code in the middle of the screen. Okay, you received tip num tips this evening. Let's hope it was a big number because otherwise it's nothing to get excited about, right? Done. Okay, so let's see how that works. Please enter the tip amount or enter to exit. Well, we have a problem here. Let's see what it is. So I'll say two. Ooh, what happened? Well, let's see. We come in here, we have a tip, it's not empty. We increment the number, we come back up, it's still not empty. Increment the number again, it's still not empty. That's because I forgot to ask for, for the next tip. So the user could not possibly enter the empty string because I, they weren't uh, queried for it. There we go. So after the first tip, we come in here, we add the number, and we ask for another one. That should work. So this stepwise development, see if you try and do everything at once, then you can wind up with so many problems, it's hard to find the real problem. So what I have there is such a small amount of code that even though I did have a problem, it was pretty easy to find. Tip amount, let's say 475. Next tip is uh, Cheapskate gave us 25 cents. Uh, 22.75, big spender. I just hit enter on the keyboard and we're done. We got three tips this evening. Okay, that's how to maintain a counter 
you basically do the same thing for a running total. So I create a variable called total and I set it equal to an initial value before the while loop. When I get in the while loop, then I'll add to my total. Uh, well, okay, so the tip has to be a float tip value. Can't add a string to a running total, that doesn't work out too well. So we have to convert our tip, val our tip from a string to a float. So we do that with the float function, and then we can add to our total. Plus equals um, tip value. All right, and let's see. Your total tips for this evening was, uh, let's put a dollar sign in there. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, tip mount, uh, 425, 2753, there we go. So if you add all that up, I'm pretty sure you'll come up with a number of $34.75. All right, so, you know, now that you have the count and you have the total, well, it seems to me, Maybe you want to figure out the average, right? So once the loop exits, and we're no longer indented, so this, this next statement is not inside the loop, it's outside the loop. The average is equal to the total divided by the number of tips, right? So then we can come down here and we can say your average tip this evening was AVG. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it came out to at least 20%, right? But we're not dealing in percentage, we're dealing in average tip size. Okay, tip amount 4.25, 25, 50, 30, 3.75, 79, I don't know, that's good, right? There we go, so our average tip was $14.57, and our total tips for the evening, not too shabby, 58.29. Hopefully it was a short night and not an all-nighter. All right, so in summary, for both the counter and a running total, you need to initialize the variables, give it some starting value. In most cases, it's going to be zero, but it depends on your application. It could be different. All right, you're in the loop while the, condi while the loop condition remains true. As soon as you get an empty string uh, as input with just the enter key, so either, uh, that would be here if it's the second, third, fourth, whatever, or here if it's the first one, tip will become the empty string and tip not equal empty string will become false, will exit the loop or never get in it in the first place. Okay, so then for the counter, you have to remember to increment it within the loop. For the total, you have to remember to add to the total within the loop. All right, and whatever you do, don't initialize inside the while loop. That's a common error, and what that does is just resets the value that you're trying to increment or add to to its starting value, and no matter what you do, the value won't change. All right, so I hope that helps.